someone about the love of Christ? Have you won a soul today? Tell your family, friends, colleagues, and workmates what Christ has done for you whenever you get the opportunity, either in person or on social media. Invite them to church and let's share fellowship together in Christ. God bless you as you reach out with the gospel. Each winning souls for Christ. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and to cause him grief. Yet, when his life is made as an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. This Easter, join us at the Holy Ghost Temple as we hold our first spiritual emphasis program for 2024. Ministering, Reverend Dr. Robert Ampiakofi. He's taking you out of nowhere to place you somewhere. And Prophet Christopher Yano. You need to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit before you go out. Date, Tuesday 26th March to Friday 29th March 2024. Time, 6.30 p.m. each night. Venue, ICGC Holy Ghost Temple at Denta Frafraha. Follow us on our socials for more details and inquiries. Come and be blessed. It's that time of the year again, where we gather to have fellowship, have fun, and enjoy lots of food. Ladies and gentlemen, our Easter picnic and mini fair is here again. Date, Monday 1st of April 2024. Time, 10 a.m. happening here at the Holy Ghost Temple. Prepare your palates and bellies to experience a wide variety of delicious local and continental dishes and drinks. Yes, the food bells will start ringing from breakfast for those who come early, right down to lunch and even supper. Get your game face on and get ready to compete in our indoor and outdoor games. There would be musical chairs, table tennis, oware, ludo, jenga, snooker, dads, football, racing simulators, video games, and many more. The children are definitely not left out as we bring the party to their doorstep with fun activities such as bouncing castles, slides, trampoline, face painting, cotton candy distribution, and among others. Come along with your wallets, debits, and credit cards, including your checkbooks, and make your way to our stands at the mini fair. There will be a variety of goods and services on display for good businesses. Side attraction includes brass band music and introducing our MC for the day, Nana Yao Ofori Ata, aka One Month Thousand. You don't want to miss out on this wonderful time of fun, bonding, and establishing godly relationships. Come along with food and drinks to share and don't forget to bring any indoor or outdoor games that you love to play. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Oh, let's put our hands together. You can do it better for the Lord. Today is Palm Sunday. And according to the narration in Luke, the Bible says that as they were going into, as Jesus was going into Jerusalem, the people removed their clothes and spread them on the ground for the donkey that he was riding on to walk on. And they used their palm fronts to praise the Lord. Today, if you are in this place, I know you can't take off your clothes, but you have a palm front in your hand. You have a voice. You have, a, you have your hands. You can put them together for Jesus and give the Lord a shout. So is that all you can do for the Lord? Give the Lord a shout. Celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hosanna in the highest. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. On that note, on behalf of the senior pastor and his wife, Prophet and Mrs. Ano, and the entire leadership of the church, I welcome you all to this Sunday morning service and into the presence of the Almighty God. This is the Holy Ghost Temple of the International Central Gospel Church. We are a Bible-believing, charismatic church with a commitment to bringing leadership and vision to our generation and influencing our society with the principles of God's kingdom. We would want to welcome especially those of you who are worshiping with us for the very first time. 
we ask that if today is the first time you are worshiping with us on a Sunday, we ask that you stand up briefly so that we can give you a special welcome. Let's put our hands together for them. Let's celebrate them. We encourage you to remain standing. Our ashes will be heading towards you with welcome forms. If you have received one, you can take your seat. We ask that you fill the forms with your full name and your contact details and drop them in the offering baskets as they are passed round. We would also encourage you to wait briefly after service for a special time with our host and hostesses at the guest lounge located on the ground office of the A structure. For those of us who are not familiar with the A structure, it is to the right, to my right, and to your left. So when you go out through this middle door, you would see the A structure. We also want to welcome all our viewers who are joining us online. We would like to hear from you as you worship with us. Let us know where you are being blessed from and let us know what God is doing in your life by leaving a comment in the comment section on our streams on YouTube, Facebook, and on, on our church website. We encourage you to join us by faith and fully participate as though you were here with us in person. We also encourage you to stay connected with us through social media, WhatsApp, and my ICGC app to receive content from our church. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on X, and TikTok at ICGC Holy Ghost Temple. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified whenever we go live. You may also scan the QR code on the screen and connect with us via WhatsApp. Now today's announcements. Reach. We are still in our month of reach where we actively engage in evangelism to reach the unreached for Christ. We are all encouraged to utilize social media and in-person interactions to share the gospel with others and invite people to church. Some helpful evangelism materials have been made available on the church's website. You can download them at icgcholyghosttemple.org forward slash reach to aid you in spreading the gospel of Christ. Spiritual emphasis. Well, I can't feel excitement. Spiritual emphasis. Our much-awaited spiritual emphasis program begins this Tuesday, 26th March, and runs till Friday, 29th March. I thought you put your hands together for the Lord. You want to join us at 6.30 p.m. each night for an encounter with God, ministering our Reverend Dr. Robert Ampiakofi and our senior pastor, Prophet Christopher Yawano. Buses will be provided before and after each service so that you can join us with ease. Don't miss out on this life-changing spiritual experience and make plans to attend each night and be ready to encounter God in a whole new way. You're also encouraged to hang around after service to enjoy a dance activation by the dramatic arts and to take photos and videos to invite all your contacts to the upcoming Spiritual Emphasis program. You're also reminded to utilize the Spiritual Emphasis Easter cards that were distributed last week to share the gospel and invite people to come and have an encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. Good Friday service. This Friday, 29th March at 8 a.m., we will have our Good Friday service to remember and reflect on the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross. So let's kindly take note. This Friday, we have two services. The morning service, which is the Good Friday service, and in the evening, we come for the last day of our spiritual emphasis program. Easter Sunday service. Next Sunday, 31st March at 8 a.m., we will have our Resurrection Sunday service to celebrate the amazing victory that Jesus achieved over death through his resurrection. So mark your calendars and be sure to invite your family and friends to be a part of this wonderful service. ICGC vacancies. ICGC head office wishes to en engage suitably qualified persons for the position of children's ministry coordinator at the head office in Achimota and a regional administrator for the northern region. Full details of the advertisement for these vacant positions have been posted on the notice board. All applications should reach the head office no later than Friday 19th April 2024. Applicants can also send the applications via email to headoffice at centralgospel.com. Church services. We are encouraged to be a part of our weekly church services as follows. 
on Sunday, we run four services. Uh, adult service, children's service, and youth service for GHS students all begin at 8 a.m. Our second service, which is the New Breed service, begins at 10.30 a.m. This service is tailor-made for youths in the SHS and university levels and all young adults. On Thursdays, we have the Prophetic Solution Center at 12 noon. However, this week we will not be having Solution Center because of the Spiritual Emphasis Program. So let's kindly take note of that. Then on Fridays, we have our prayer service from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. You are encouraged to be a part of all our services for a complete and balanced spiritual development. Wedding announcements. This is the second announcement. There will be a wedding between Gibson Oredu and Nasia Kwaku on Saturday, 6th April 2024, at the Agri Chapel, located within the Achimota School, at 11.30 a.m. May I ask Gibson and Nasia to be upstanding to be introduced? Oh, let's put our hands together for them. Gibson is a member of this church. He works with Newmont's Ghana as a facility supervisor. Nasia is a member of the Latter House Glory Center in Dansuman and serves in their music and youth departments. She works as an HR and admin officer at Lancer Developers Limited. People of God, if there be any reason why these two persons should not be lawfully joined together, let the senior pastor and the leadership of the church know. If not, when it does happen, kindly hold your peace. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Easter Monday picnic and mini fair. I thought I'll feel some excitement in the building. Join us on Monday, 1st April at 10 a.m. for an unforgettable Easter picnic and mini fair filled with non-stop fun and excitement. We have a jam-packed schedule of activities to keep you entertained all day long. Get your game face on. We have a variety of outdoor and indoor games waiting for you, from football to tug of peace, table tennis to scrabble, and so much more. You are bound to find something that will keep you on your toes. And for our children or the little ones, we have bouncy castles, face painting, train rides, and treasure hunts. Want to encourage you to bring enough food and drinks to share. And if you have any indoor or outdoor games you love to play, bring them along too. This is your chance to make new friends and have a great time together. The registration for stall spaces for our Easter picnic ends today. So business owners who would like to trade during this year's Easter picnic and mini fair should kindly visit the PVV stand at the sales desk after service to purchase a stand. Limited slots are available. At this juncture, I would like us to put our hands together and receive Reverend Mrs. Arnold to give us some more highlights about the picnic and the mini fair. Put your hands together. Oh, let's put our hands together until she comes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Easter is such a special moment for us as believers. I find Easter more important than Christmas because if Jesus hadn't given his life, where would we have been? And God gave his only begotten son so that you have many children like us. And I'm privileged to call you my sister, my brother. But coming to church, we are sharing fellowship. Easter is the time where we can bond better. Bring your food, I bring my food. Come, let's eat. We are not being carnal. When we look at the scriptures, I think Acts chapter 2. Let's see what is there. Acts chapter 2, verse 46. Can you please put it up there for me? So, continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, 
How many of you have homes that can receive all of us? You can at most get 10 people in your house. But we need to fulfill this word of God where we'll come, break bread, and share fellowship. And in that, we bond. Who knows? Somebody might find a precious one on that day. That is a chance you don't have to miss at all. So let's break bread. Maybe in your breaking of bread, somebody will say, oh, what a wonderful lady. Or he will say, what an honorable man. The way he even eats kills me. Yeah. We never know. As a God, he's a God of miracles. So he can do anything at any time, anywhere. Picnic, miracles, all sorts of miracles can happen. So make sure to be here on Easter Monday. How many of you are not coming? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know what? And this whole idea of breaking bread and sharing fellowship is not to bring more than you can afford. If you can prepare sandwiches, come and share with a sister and a brother. If a group of you can come together, prepare. Last year, I hear some departments prepared gobe. And it was the... Uh, mm. <laughs> some people prepare kokonte. Some people bring fried rice, jollof rice. You go around and all sorts of food. The church does something for the community, but I want us as brothers and sisters to make up our mind that we are bringing food to share with a brother and a sister. How many of you will not do that? I know you are loving people, and in order to bond, we are coming. And you know, the side attraction is the mini fair. There are some times you are not able to go out. They bring all sorts of things. And those of you who have things to share, or what I mean, um, things that you want to exhibit for people to know you are in this trade so that when I need you, I can find you. Praise God. We have a lot of carpenters. We have a lot of painters. We have a lot of tilers. We have a lot of technicians. All sorts of professionals in this house. But when we are looking for services in that area, we don't even know where to go. So make yourselves available and I believe it will be good business for you. Praise the Lord. Come, let's break bread and share fellowship together. God bless you. Let's put our hands together. So if, if you've forgotten anything, just remember that you bring your food, I bring my food. <laughs> and who knows? <laughs> Hallelujah. It is time for us to give our substance to the Lord. The Bible asks us to give and it shall be given back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. I want us to prepare a good seed to give to God. As the baskets come round, you can drop your seed in the basket or you can give digitally by the options that are displayed on the screen. Let's put our hands together and receive the contemporary choir ministering to us as we receive our offering.
clap. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the contemporary choir. And put your hands together for the band as well. Hallelujah. We will never be able to understand the love God has for us. And today we are here to hear about that love. Without wasting much time, I want us to humbly rise to our feet and receive the ministry of the senior pastor of this house, Prophet Christopher Yawano. Put your hands together. Today we are here just to worship you and we begin with our substance with our bodies and our substance Lord let this be acceptable unto you in Jesus name Amen thank you very much you're welcome and happy Palm Sunday as a happy Hallelujah. Uh, those who were who started going to church very early in life, uh, you understand Palm Sunday, you hold us, there is a sing around uh, the entire church. Or uh, for us, it was just a uh, uh, a joyful time but do we really understand it or uh, we just have to, we just saw that people are doing this so you also take it hallelujah this week is a week that is going to tie everything that Jesus came to do on earth here. That is going to fulfill scriptures, all that we have waited for, how to come out of prison. Uh, that is the day uh, the judge will give judgment, but that you are free. Amen. So this week is very important. Uh, uh, that is the time he will say it is finished. And really, it is finished. Amen. When we read the book, no, the gospel, this account, the gospels, each one of them gave a perspective about Jesus entering into uh, uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Luke took it from a place that he was traveling. But his main goal was to get to a uh, destination is Jerusalem. And Jerusalem to be down, to be killed there. <laughs> so uh, it was a journey, uh, uh, I call it the last journey, or a journey uh, uh, to where he's going to die. So let's read. Uh, read John's account. John 12. Because that is the place he mentioned Palm. So for your sake. John 12 verse 12 19. Blessed have you seen it? He said the next day a great multitude that had come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, 
took branches of wood, palm trees, and went out to meet him and cried out. That's where we had the Palm Sunday. <laughs> That's where we got our name, Palm Sunday. The rest didn't emphasize on the palm trees. Some said they put... Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey, or donkey's cold. This disciple, his disciple, did not understand these things at first. Because sometimes things happen. You see it happening. You see people rejoicing, but you might not understand it. Sometimes you come to church, a message is preached. You may not understand it, but somewhere along in life, it begins to unfold in a certain way that you know you need that. This, ah, is that the reason why this message was preached? So his disciples themselves did not understand, so it wasn't a prearranged <laughs> program like a politician, poli political party that is coming and they arrange that all of you come and meet us here. Therefore, the people who were with him, okay, his disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had done these things to him. So all that was done was written. But no human being read the scriptures. They say, this is what he said about Jesus. When he's going to die, this is what we must do. <laughs> no. God himself put it in the heart of people. It was just something that just happened. And every crowd followed him. Therefore, the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. For this reason, the people also met him because they heard that he had done this sign. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, you see that you are accomplishing nothing. Look, the well has gone after him. Here is Jesus. He didn't give details. There are other scriptures that have given how he asked to send the disciples to go and untie uh, the cold and, and bring it. Uh, uh, and it talks, each one talks about a certain aspect of it so that we can have a full picture of what really happened. John mentioned palm trees. That's why I am also mentioning Palm. So when he said Palm Sunday, I believe this is uh, the, the root name that they got from. Uh, that because the people took the palm. But in other, other scriptures, other places, people put their clothes, their uh, uh, other things down. Uh, but I think they decided not to call it Clove Sunday because... <laughs> But they decided to call it Palm Sunday because clove, everybody wear clove every day. So when it's a clove Sunday, it may lose its significance. So that's why we decided to call it Palm Sunday. Hallelujah. His disciple did not understand at first. If we read Luke account, Luke is a historian who which writings have written in a very organized way, very systematic way. Uh, uh, and he, he looked, uh, wrote his, and I, uh, 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 when 
That is Luke chapter 19, 28 to 40. I think I'll just take some portion. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he went towards Jerusalem. That to look, Jesus' focus was going to Jerusalem. So, what was he going to Jerusalem to do? Just to do exactly what will save us. Uh, then, he said, as he was getting near Bethage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples on ahead. So, in see the historian giving a very vivid picture of what even happened to get the animal. Uh, go into the, uh, uh, he, he told them, go into the village where you will find a young donkey that has never been ridden. A young, so he even described what type of donkey who Jesus sat on. Uh, John just said a colt, uh, 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 but he, he described where it is. It's been tied down for him, and uh, uh, so they should go and untie. And he knows he told them that when you are untying, somebody will come and ask you, uh, "What are you going to do with it?" Or they, they won't say Juloy. They will ask you first when you don't, when you are not able to explain. They say Juloy. So, so fortunately, uh, uh, he told them. Uh, when they ask you, this is the answer you must give them. So, go into the next village where you will find a young donkey that has never been ridden. Untie, or do what? Untie the donkey and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you are doing this, just say the laws need it. Say the laws need it. There are so many things you need to untie and bring to Jesus. In fact, our rich is, the purpose of our rich is to untie the unbeliever and bring them to Jesus because the Lord needs them. So how many of you obey Jesus? Good. <laughs> I know some of us, uh, uh, we say, Jesus, okay, I want come. Amen. The verse 32, they went off and found everything just as Jesus had said. While they were untying the donkey, its owners asked, why are you doing that? Hmm. Said, they are bold though. So they answered, you see, they didn't just talk. They just gave exactly what. See, when God sends you, speak his word. It is his word that have, will be effective. He said, don't just go and argue and say, oh, uh, uh, no, no. Some of you, they, like you go and talk and talk. Before you finish talking, they, will be, they finish beating you. He said, <laughs> just quote what he said. What he has what Jesus tells us, the word of God has the power to do exactly what it was said to do. So the, when they ask them, the owners ask them, why are you doing that? They answered, the Lord needs it. That was exactly what Jesus told them to tell them. Don't go and add yours. Don't go and speak whatever I uh, say, oh, this your donkey is nice. Uh, uh, we, we want to? Uh, I don't want Jesus to look like he's a thief. I will take the thing on myself. They will beat you because this is word that works. So they said exactly that the Lord does what needs it. Then they led the donkey to Jesus. They put some of their clothes on it back and help Jesus to get on. And as they, he rode along, the people spread clothes on the road in front of him. When Jesus started, uh, Jesus started down the mountain of Olive, his large crowd of disciples were happy and praised God because of all the miracles they had seen. So something made them praise him. They have seen this man work a miracle and 
Israel at that time had a mindset that they were going to get a leader, a political leader, who will come and deliver them from the hands of the wicked Romans. Because whatever they do, they have no self-government. The, the, the Romans are controlling everything about them, and they want somebody. You, 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 you remember when uh, they came to Jesus and asked him whether they should pay tax. You see, what did Jesus say? He brought a coin, and what did he asked? He said, whose head is on it? And what did they say? Caesar was not a Jew. He wasn't a Jew from a uh, 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 descent. He was a Roman <laughs> emperor. So they paid tax to the Romans. They were working hard, and they were taking their taxes, and they were waiting for the day when the king will come and deliver them from all this burden of task, harassing them in the street. Lampo. <laughs> These days we don't have them there. <laughs> so, their mindset was they were going to get a king. So when they saw all these miracles happening, they thought this might be the king. It is the king, he's very powerful. If he can raise the dead, if he can feed us, then he can meet our economic needs. If he can raise the dead, then the Romans cannot face him. If he can speak for a tree to die, then he can lead us into battle and give us freedom. So their mind or their mindset wasn't even what Jesus' mindset was. Their mindset was they are going to get a king which they can worship, which they can go to the palace and, and go and bow to him <laughs> and, and do or no. We, 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 want, we, don't, we want bondage. You know, Israel sometimes said, Oh God, we want a king like the other kings. Uh, other, other, other tribes or other people. We want somebody we can see. Not somebody we don't see because the God of Israel was, you can't see him with your naked eyes. So I said, what kind of God are we serving and we can't see him? Because he wanted us, that God, which God, the God of Israel, the God who you serve, is not a physical God that you can see with your eyes. He wants us to deal with him in faith. So God, we contact this God by faith, not because of what we see. In fact, if you want to see him, believe him, have faith. It is true faith that you can see his works, you can see the things, whoever he is. So Israel, was looking for this great king and they saw that potential king. They saw that king in Jesus. Said, this is the man. And you know, the only sometimes they wanted to carry him as a, <laughs> as a king. And Jesus oh, will not permit them. If, if, if Jesus was one of us, like uh, he, they would have changed the course, his, his path, and made him a human king. But he knew what he came to this world to do. So nothing could change his mind. He knows that he's a king. But the type of king he is, is not the type of king on earth here. His kingdom is not on this earth. His kingdom is universal. His kingdom is not limited in a, in a small area of a certain country. But his kingdom spread all over. So he knows himself and he doesn't need any man to carry him to make him a king. So this Jesus, their mind was, so they have a Jesus. So they started crying, some of them, when they saw him raising his hand, so they have hope now, we have now Cain, so they were screaming and shouting, and let me tell you, in every crowd, in every life, when people are, were praising him, the enemies were quiet. It's only the leaders. The very people 
I don't know where they got those crowd that said crucify him. Because it was less than one week. <laughs> the crowd that came out from other countries, other places, because it was a time where they were going for the Passover. So it's a great festival. Like when it is uh, Easter and you, you, every crowd <laughs> it's a quo, quo. <laughs> you see all quo with all shops closed because they are the one who have shops in so if you want to buy anything at a boss okay i have to call a okanshi and other places please buy it before easter Easter, you see everybody going there. The house is full. It's a festival for them. In fact, I like your festival. Uh, it's a, a good. Uh, I hope they will, get, they will take the what is inside and not sin with it. <laughs> so they moved there. So those who had it. Those who saw Jesus raising the dead, they announced it, they preached it everywhere, and people heard that the man who raised the dead is coming. The man who healed is coming. So people joined that if this man could raise the dead and could heal the sick and make the blind see and make the crippled walk, then he is the best to be our king. So they started screaming, shouted and some people didn't like it and it so agitated them that somebody shouting with his mouth why should it worry somebody so they came to him and said Jesus enough is enough tell your people to shut up then they will now bring theological thing in their mind a man and the way they are treating him as if he's God. But he didn't know that he was God. So it added jealousy. Jealousy. They were so jealous it's not them. But it's Jesus. He think that the man, he said, he said, all the people have gone after him. Everyone, so if you're a leader, if you are people who control, you are a pastor, you have a church, and now all your pastor is looking to another person. All your uh, congregation is looking for to another pastor. Won't you be threatened? Sunday you come to church, they say they are gone to. <laughs> That's where pastors begin to preach. Instead of Jesus. They now attack the person who is gathering the, cloud, the, the, the crowd. He come to church, the little that is left, he won't preach Christ to them. He will then begin to use the pulpit to attack other preachers. Meanwhile, there are more unbelievers in the, uh, in the world for you to preach messages to them, but you are rather attacking one of yours. It's not because you love the Lord, because you are jealous. Jealousy preaching. <laughs> That's all. It's not the numbers. But if you get the numbers you like. <laughs> if you have it, I say, it's not the numbers. That's the right preaching. If you don't have it and you see another person somewhere there, it's not the numbers. There's a problem with you. If you are poor, you say, oh, no, no, no. It's not whether I have money or not. If you are poor, don't preach that message. If you have it, tell, look, money does not matter. It means that you have it, but it can't control you. Well, we need to be into. 
kwati kwa sababu mount man so most people have their mind their mind was they're going to get a king and most people go to church and have different mindset their mindset is first physical what can i get not what can i do their mindset is that i'm going to church so that i will not be uh, the, the demons in my family they are too plenty yes it's part of protection is part of the package but that is not the main package. In fact, if you have Christ, you have the protection. Are you getting me? Yes. But we go for the protection and leave the Christ. We are not protected. <laughs> Some of us want to become rich. Indeed, God wish above all that will prosper. But prosperity is not the reason why Jesus died. He died that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So all the people were praising him because some of them have also eaten the bread. 5,000 people, if you feed 5,000 people, I think there are more than 5,000 people by my estimation. Because he said it's only men and normally the women are more and the children. So when something happened to 5,000 to 10,000 people, the news can spread. Got one evangelist among them can even tell about 1,000 people about what has happened. So the head, his fame went out all over. So everybody followed him and they started singing, they started praising him, people's children, and this and they started praising him, and somebody came and said, hey, shh, let them shut up. And some of the Pharisees, see, the people, the Pharisees, these are not the non-religious people calling. In fact, these Pharisees are the spiritual people of Israel. And we have the Sadducees, uh, 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 is it Sadducees? Uh, 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 we have the secular ones. You see, we have both secular, that looks secular for them. Uh, they said they are the ones that say they look, ooh, ooh, uh, no, yeah. They are secular and they are spiritual. These are the most spiritual people. They are the ones do, that don't want to kill an ant because it's a sin. So, instead of the spiritual men to be happy, in fact, they are the ones who are rather attacking the thing. And look at what they said. Oh, oh, let me see. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd. Teacher, rebuke your word. Rebuke your word. Your disciples. I said, the teacher doesn't know what to do. You call him teacher, and you are teaching him what to do. <laughs> okay. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones will immediately cry out. He said, it's very necessary. It is scriptural. Even his disciples did not understand it. How will these Pharisees understand? So when you have no understanding, you can be kicking against God, thinking that you are doing the work of God. So probably from the heart, they think, this man is trying to go too far. So shut them up before God strike you. And he said, if this one stop 
crazy me if we stop their mouth. God, these stones, you'll be surprised to hear stones singing. Oh, Court because they will sing right. Uh. Some people think that they're doing God 
favor. You think you are doing God favor when you worship him, you praise him. You are doing yourself a favor. I would prefer to praise him than to allow the stones to praise him. I don't want the praise. The fruit of praising him, the reward of praising God to go to stones. I want to receive that reward because it's made for me. Hallelujah. So these are on their way. People were throw they through their clothes, their kente clothes, their shedder. Uh, they shedder. They are, tell me what again. They are do, do mass. Uh, they are. They are GTP. Uh, GTL. Yeah. Uh, uh, ATL. ATL. Huh. Of course, you're more tester. All kind of reason. Some didn't have the modern youth. They would throw their, 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 their jeans. What's the name of them? Those that look like the dog has. Uh, <laughs> Why the name? Why the name? Ah, uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, tattered, tattered days. Hey, jeans, tattered jeans. Hey, I say more. Don't worry, it's your season. Young one, it's your season. Hey, don't let the old men put you into their way. So. You just dress the way which is decent and nice. If that is the fashion, do it. But I want to tell you, this fashion will pass away. Remember <laughs> now? Oh, if you've grown as you understand. When we create people, I they said. Don't wear, they call it some bell bottom, they call it afro. Don't wear, if you wear it, you backslide it. Ha! So we'll do it like. They call it tuna book. Ha! So I remember some boys, they were, when I was wearing this, they, 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 they were, I decided, they said, tuna book! When you're passing, tuna abu. Then I looked at her, what I can do? She said, tuna abu. She said, bin abu. <laughs> if my trouser is like the mouth of a gun, you to yours is like the mouth of a dog. So that is what I said. The moment I said call them Benabo, they stopped. Because there is a response to that greeting. When you greet me, Tunabo, I'll respond. Benabo. <laughs> so don't worry. So whatever you have, that is very you think it's precious to you, they put it down for Christ. Either to sit on it or to walk on it. God want whatever you have achieved to be brought before him. See, what you think is a great achievement is nothing to God. When you it is to glorify him. It is for him to walk on it. It is for him to, to move on it. So, if you've gained something, you use it for Christ. Whatever you have is because of Jesus. Amen. So, they threw it down and they were singing and, and these people were very happy. And if you look into the, if you look at the place, I think everybody like, you look that at that moment, you think that everybody liked Jesus, but there were opposition inside. How do I know? Thursday, uh, Friday, 
I got to know it by Friday. That these very people were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. They saying by less than six days. Say, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. I know, you see, the world is the same. When you are going into power first as a, as a politician, they will heal you. By the time you get to your end, they will give you a name. <laughs> what happened normal when it happened when you enter first? Everybody doesn't talk. But when you're going to your end, come and see, you feel like jumping out quickly. Because small thing, even if a fly falls into somebody's soup, they will blame you. <laughs> so these very people, they are like us. They are like the Ghanaians. They are like Africans. They are like Americans. They are like the West. They are like the East. By the next few days, the very people who were Probably they might not be the same people. Because whenever a group of people rise up and they are prison, those who want to come against go underground. When Christians continue to praise and to raise him, we will not get the chance for we will not give the chance to the world to say crucify him. But at the point they shut down. And another group took over with a new song. Crucify him, crucify him, crucify. Then they all, their voice, I don't know who told. Sometimes the thing comes as if uh, they rehearse it. You just need one, a mob. You need one to say one thing. All of them say, you see the thing going one. Away, away with him, away with him, away with him. And this very people, you tend to look at the people who praised you yesterday and today, they're undermining you. So when somebody undermines you, don't hate him. That is the falling nature of a man. When somebody is praising you today, don't think he's your praiser perpetually. You do something a little against that person, he will be the one that will destroy you. And the player said, oh, this is the one that they were praising him. He said, peace. They said, yeah, this man is a man, a king who is a, a people who bring peace. The thing he was going to bring peace. That Palm Sunday, they are getting a king that will give them peace. You know, I replaced one of them, they quoted, uh, 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 peace in heaven and glory, the, almost the, the same way the, which the, the, the angel quoted when, uh, so they quoted it, they said, and the, the kind of peace they were thinking about is the one who will give them economic peace. Why they won't run to IMF? <laughs> for them to make some conditions for them. But that's not the peace, that kind of peace he was looking for. So they were looking for some type of peace. A peace when there will be no food for everybody to eat. A peace when nobody will fight and the prison doors will be free. A peace when nobody will take your land. Land guards. There will be no land guards. Because if you have a land and you fight and people are fighting over it and they say somebody is going to bring you peace, that's where your mind is. You say, oh, if this man come. I will get my land and I will no longer fight. Huh? But you know what Jesus said? The type of peace you think about, that's not what I brought. 
And he said, when I come, I'm bringing a sword between a father and a son, a mother. It means that when you believe Jesus, you must believe him with all your heart. Your faith can make others hate you. What you believe can even make family members disown you. Your faith can make even friends shun you. That is not a kind of peace, not a peace that compromises with sin, but a peace that stands no matter what it is. And when you stand for the truth, no matter what it is, you will gain enemies all over. So our Palm Sunday is rejoicing. It all centers on a person. And who is that? Who is that? But for him to become a king and to fulfill all that, to bring the peace that we're singing about, first he must make man to have peace with God. Because man had a problem with God when Adam sinned. We are not able to go get close to God. God dealt with us in, this, in the distance. He chose a group of people and said, I'm going to make this one. The rest, we call, they call us Gentiles. Amman Frafu. We didn't have a part in that Jehovah God. But now he wanted to reconcile the entire world. That no matter where you come from, no matter who gave birth to you, no matter how you were born, no matter what kind of education you have, he can bring you together. That's why we are here with different backgrounds. So when we are singing this and that, Christ brought us together. He was going to that. Luke said he was moving to Jerusalem to fulfill that mission of reconciling the world to God. So that me, this bad man, can say, I am not depending on my bad things, but I'm looking, I'm taking the goodness of Jesus. So when I'm going, the devil sees me, he sees the goodness of Jesus. He sees the blood of Jesus. He gives me the power now. Protection comes from the blood. You know that? He gives me both protection and also to be able to defend myself and also to be able to attack the enemy. They overcame the devil by the blood. You can also be protected through the blood. So he was giving you both offensive weapon and defensive mechanism to be able to wear off your enemy. The witches were afraid. He was going to give you power over them. Amen. So when we are singing, when they are praising him, and they take the palm, the palm is just what we are using. It is not the goal. It is not the object. It's not what we are looking to. Mikura palm tino, sa palm ebe bibia mame. No, 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 no. You are using the palm that God through you everything came. So I'm using what you've created to praise you. I don't have anything, but at least you can get live somewhere. Uh, you know, everybody can now worship Him. Uh, so whatever you have, you can take it to worship. Are you ready now? Yes. Okay, let's let let let's, let's let's praise Him let's before we close. Wait. Sing 
Palm Sunday songs. This is, this is resurrection song.
say thank you very much. It's good. I, I hope there, were, there wasn't any Pharisees here. <laughs> because the Pharisees were among them. Yeah. So I hope there's no Pharisees here. A Pharisees here? Hey! Pharisees. <laughs> Pharisees. <laughs> Yo. God, Pharisees, whether you like it or not, we will continue to praise him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, continue to worship him. Don't let it end here. Let Jesus ah, rule in your life. Put yourself down. Be the donkey that Jesus will sit on. The, the donkey had its own glory. You saw the glory that the donkey, a donkey that was tied first was losing. And I believe that if you were tied, Jesus' death bring that you have to be losing. Not only that, it was glorified. They put clothes on it and people were making Hosanna. They put cloth on the floor, on the ground, isn't it? And who walked on it? Jesus. Did Jesus walk on it? Who walked on it? So don't be don't be unwise. If because of Jesus, people are doing you some favor. Uh, don't think you are somebody. Uh, the donkey can be, uh, he can think otherwise. That, oh, me, I'm very special donkey. Look at how everybody is. Let Jesus go down, get down from on him and see where that people will put. <laughs> so, as long as you carry Jesus, as long as Jesus is in you, as long as Jesus is for you, many things will give way to you. Amen. And that is good news for you. Amen. But if you put him down to go and do your own thing, no one will see you and put it down for you. You will go and hala, 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 wahala, wahala, wahala. You will suffer and suffer and suffer. I say, why? So please, Carry that Jesus continuously. And people will put their clothes down for you to walk on. God bless you. Amen. We're going to take our offering. I hope you worship, you, 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 you really praise him. Yeah. Unless you're a Pharisee, a Pharisee here. If you're a Pharisee, you wouldn't enjoy this program today. But if you're not a Pharisee, you will enjoy so we're going to go ahead. Don't put your cloth in the, uh, in the offering bowl. We don't need cloth. Turn the cloth into cash or money. Hallelujah. Praise God. So today we are want to put our cloth uh, uh, in on the way that Jesus will walk on. So as you take your offering, I want you to understand that the central theme of today, of this week, the Passion Week, is Christ Jesus. And when you are giving, have him in mind that you are not giving to a man, you are giving to Jesus, who, the reason why the people followed him was that the Bible said he did a miracle. So if you have any situation in your life, that miracle working Jesus, when he sits on you, something can change. As we praise him today, I believe that there will be miracles in people's life because Jesus has appeared. Amen. Our gracious Father, I pray for divine miracle as we give you room. We don't want those miracles to go to stones, to go to mountains, to go to other things, but we want to attract it. We praise you with the fruit of our lips and we also praise you, Lord, with our substance. Lord, we are putting our substance, our clothes on the donkey and we are putting our clothes 
on the ground so that your donkey will walk on it, your church will walk on it and perform what it is purposed to do. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sing it. David D. Manchel.
announced, isn't it? Oh, that's good. Uh, and next time we'll continue, don't worry. You see, I saw some, uh, uh, some Pharisees sitting down. So, <laughs> good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't worry, the Pharisees can be, you know, some of the Pharisees, they got born again. Huh? They, they come by night, Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. So don't worry, Nicodemus, don't worry. Night is coming. Uh, we'll have evening services. So you too, you can join them. Hallelujah. So most of them are Pharisees. Uh, so we are going to close. What does it mean? What does it mean? We have what? Huh? God. We have a God. We have a God. Ah, the stones themselves are saying they have a God. No. Ah, Pharisee. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> we have a God, we have a God. Uh, uh, we have a God. And uh, we have a God. The only player like, the player I like was David. Uh, even King David. Hallelujah. Praise God. Look at somebody's beautiful, handsome face. Now, I want you to stand up to tell the person. <laughs> That I am not a Pharisee. <laughs> Stand up and tell the person you're not a Pharisee. <laughs> I'm looking at the Pharisees who are sitting down. <laughs> I believe that this spiritual emphasis will be one of the greatest. Amen. Bless you. Because Jesus himself will walk through this place. Amen. Shall we share the grace? Be with us now. Amen. Bless you.